Texas A&M earlier in the day at home against Louisiana. Kellen Mond getting his second career start. Jay Hubenek and Nick Starkle both hurt. Starkle, of course, for the year. Texas A&M, though, uh, they did everything they could to keep Louisiana uh, in the football game here, including this miserable fourth down uh, fake yeah, field goal. Fake coach. field goal. He should have yeah. pitched it. It was wide open, but uh, that's what happens when you're dealing with kickers. That's right. And then the raging Cajuns, Jordan Davis. You like the throwback, Darn? It's the throwback. Dodges a few tackles. Yeah, sure. Why not? Better to fade. <laughs> Cajuns were up 21 14. Turning point. That's the score. Early third. Armani Watts' second pick of the day. Yeah, this was huge right now. I think out of, after both of his picks, it turned into 14 points. And again, guys like this have to step up. He's the leader of the defense. We said that in the preseason. He showed up today, and it was huge. Louisiana quarterback Jordan Davis threw three picks in the game, and then you see the touchdown from Mond, and then the throw to Cameron Buckley, 12 yards, A&M back on top. Once some more. Terrell Dodson picks off Davis. He scores 24 unanswered at that point. After the pick, Keith McGee getting the hype, dunks the football in the old turnover can. Do we have multiple teams to do that? I, yeah, I don't know where same. that became so popular. All the yeah. SEC thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right, 45-21, I can't say I understand it. 45-21 Aggies. That's what we do after we have a good highlight segment, right? <laughs> yes, we, we do. We throw it in the trash. 45-21, A&M uh, does rack up almost 500 yards of offense. This wasn't the prettiest of performances, but you take the second half coach, right, and you say that's the kind of football team we can be, right? They've got Arkansas in Arlington next week. They do, and, and I really like how Kevin Sumlin handled everything at halftime. They interviewed him right as he was going to the locker room. It was an extremely poor performance. They went on a 12 or 13 play drive and scored on A&M right before the half, but he didn't panic, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what he couldn't do. He can't go into the locker room and show that he's rattled in any way. They went in there. They made some adjustments. I think they moved some offensive linemen around and kind of re recalibrated yeah. the offensive line. They came out, and they played a completely different-looking half.